Hey everyone, Frank here from the Art of 3D Experience and today we are back in Twin Motion and we're going to talk about lighting quickly because uh, I think Twin Motion is such an incredible tool for lighting and I just want to show you a couple of ways you can add lighting to your scene. So I've got an uh, art gallery uh, scene here that I created a couple of months ago and I basically want to turn this scene into a night scene. Uh, using uh, artificial light so uh, let's get going so I'm going to show you how to add um, lighting from twin motion that is uh, provided in twin motion and first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this scene into a night scene so I can see the lights better so I'm going to go up to my um, lighting up here the daylight and I'm going to turn the time of the day all the way back down to let's say 12 o'clock so it's just dark enough to see um, any artificial light I add into the scene so let's start with the outside I'm going to add some a uh, couple of external lights outside this uh, gallery and uh, let's go over to my library and then we go to lights to object sorry and then to city and let's go down to street lights and uh, I kind of like this light for this scene there you go so as soon as I add this light into my scene it automatically generates the haze around it and it also generates light so I don't have to do anything else but to drop it in so I'm going to shift and click and drag and create an instance um, I'm going to place this one over here I'm going to rotate it slightly and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side so I'm going to shift click and drag and I'm going to place it down here instance rotate move it aside same thing shift click move it up here Alright, so I'm going to keep doing that for the rest of my scene. Okay. Move it to the side, rotate it. Shift click. Okay. And for the last couple of lights click okay move down there rotate and the final one shift click instance and we are done for the outside lights now I also would like to create uh, some lighting inside but for the inside I'm not gonna add a an artificial light um, Object. I'm going to add an artificial light um, as a floating light. So I'm going to add a spotlight. I'm going to add a spotlight under each of these, just to kind of highlight the artworks around the space. So for that, I'll go back to my library, go down to light, and I'm going to add uh, a very simple uh, spotlight in here. right I'm gonna move it down a bit there you go and what you can do with these lights as you can see that the lighting is um, projecting like on lights onto my surfaces but I can't even there's no haze on the lights so there's no um, cone that shows me where the light is and I would like to have some haze because I think at this time of the night in this location which is kind of like on an island somewhere you would get um, some kind of haze or volumetric sort of effect on your light. So I'm going to add, click on my light and I'm gonna go down to haze down here. So the light is on, I'm gonna go to haze and turn haze on. And there you go, automatically you can see that my light has some volumetric um, effect to it. If I go down to more, I can uh, modify the intensity so I think 50 is a bit much so I'm gonna go down to 10 and maybe 5 
that looks kind of good that's fine and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the lights outside I'm going to copy and paste it around my scene so let's go and do that I want to go up to my projection up here and I'm going to go to the top view and I will just copy and paste and uh, instance my lights around the space So I'm now done with copying my lights, I'm going to go back to my perspective view and boom, there you go, my lights are now in my scene and they are casting lights and have volumetric effects on them. I can increase the intensity, let me just go to the original light, I want to maybe the attenuation is to go down a bit more so I can get more lights on the floor something like that let's go for 12 there you go so I got more lights uh, reflecting on my surfaces which is good and uh, let's see what we can do with the haze we can uh, modify the speed as well of the haze right so just like wind speed um, I want I don't want it to uh, have too much of a flicker so I'm just gonna keep it down and the tiling as well, I can adjust the, how much, how noisy the volumetric effect is. I want to keep it quite simple too. And that's it. That's how you um, can turn your day scene into night scene in twin motion and add lights and volumetric effects. And you see how quickly I just did that. Um, doing this in Cinema 4D would have taken a lot longer so you can imagine what you can do just with lighting in real time in twin motion so i suggest you uh, start looking into twin motion and you know kind of um, outputting your final images and videos from twin motion as it is an extremely powerful tool um, i'll be looking to do a lot more tutorials in twin motion for you guys to get up to speed so with that said i uh, will see you in the next video